Don't say you just flex TV You know, see them how I train a 4K and a 3D You know it good, you know Girl, I watch you like cinema Watch you like cinema Yes, so blessings, blessings, my people. Blessings each and every one. It's a checking of give you guys Jamaica Midday News Roundup for January 10, 2023. First time over, just Black TV, press subscribe button, notification bell. I'll see you never miss another update. For those out there on the street, whether working, hustling, just let the Almighty be praised because I am a lend our days. I'm not even going to go back where I'm going to kickstart where. In the com investigating two separate fatal shooting incidents in St. James, the Independent Commission of Investigation says it has responded to and comments investigation into two separate fatal shooting incidents by the police on the weekend. The incidents resulted in the death of two men of unsound mind. Guard Michelle was fatally shot on January 7, Montego Hills, and 34-year-old Chavis Warren was fatally shot on January 8 in Cora Guns. Both incidents occurred in the parish of St. James. To get more and this I can just go over to the Jamaica cleaner because them cleaner. Right, my people. And we just uh, move on to where what kind of sadness this and one family with question marks. So in 2018, a little youth goes by the name Molly Granell. Yes, died from complications associated with sickle cell just as he graduated from the KC, the Kingston College High School. Well, peeps, now his mother, Tamika Peart, and younger brother, Jelano Wright, have died in a motor vehicle accident, you know, on the ferry. So Malik was 17 when he died. His brother was also 17 when he died. This is crazy. This is crazy, you know, peeps. You know, mother and two son that gone home, you know. You see, so look at the screen, the two bigger brothers. Yes, my people, trust me, style. And this is the elder brother at the time, you know. Yes, in his KC uniform. But trust me, condolences goes out to the family, friends and loved ones, you know. Hard to take, trust me, style. Rather just work for the best because so it goes still, you know, you have some family where meanwhile when one dead, you know, Come like everybody just start dead. I have some family with nobody not dead more than natural sickness. Moving on to where a blind man fell in breakaway at the intersection of Winward and Homestead Road in Kingston too. This has been like this for several years. This need to be fixed ASAP. It's not the first time someone fell in it and it's more than five feet deep. So peeps, yes, saw a video with this blind man and trust me, it's not a good look, you know. The government need to do something about them drainage wall here. Your sight coming in with get it, but manual, manual, that not for name, no manual. Your sight, that for name, P2 old brother, because some of them, the brother, my youth, are seven, eight foot deep. And it no must be a blind man, because years, me see people walk a road and jump down in them. So the government, them need to fix up the street, them brother. What's a blind man, them have to pass, brother. Your sight, disabled people likewise. Cho. Moving on, peeps, to where the fate of Child Protection and Family Services Agency CEO Rosalie Gage Gray may be known in Parliament today after Minister of Education and Youth Fieval Williams tables a report for a probe into the integrity's relationship with disgraced U.S. educator Carl Robansky. So Robansky claimed that he had been directed by God to come to Jamaica to help less fortunate children. But trust me, it's the other way around because this man has sexual molestation like you know couple of the words them well well to get more on this I can just go over to the Jamaica Observer yeah because you know them are the learner yeah my people but this boy I forget 60 life not 60 years you know 60 life what a wicked and cruel man. Moving on peeps who are police investigating the suspected drowning death of a woman in Thornton district near Salawa in the parish on Sunday. The deceased has been identified as 55-year-old Desreen Powell, otherwise called Rose, a resident of Thornton in St. Elizabeth. Right, my people, John will start. So police have to investigate this incident because you look away if you're a big 55-year-old, you know, experience for John. Cause you don't know where Jamaica move right now. The man, man we kill a woman and go left her and I water too, you know, make it look like, you know, she joined too. So, 
we have to skeptic with the life. Moving on to where an alleged fugitive wanted by the police and some in the criminal underworld has left a St. Thomas woman paralyzed with fear for her life. She says that the police have threatened her for allegedly harboring a wanted man. Right, my people? Yes, and now in hiding, she says efforts to report these threats to the authorities have been trivialized right my people are trivialized leaving her hopeless and confused right so to get more on this you can just go over to cvm tv at google right my people yes so that we are going this right you know so that female needs some help needs some serious help Yes, so trial of men accused of killing missionaries to start today. So nearly seven years after the murder of two American missionaries in St. Mary, the trial of the accused killers are expected to get underway Tuesday in the Home Circuit Court. The trial, which had been scheduled to start on Monday, was postponed after attorney Diane Jobson told the court that her client, Dwight Henry, wanted to take a certain course of action and she would have further discussion with him regarding the details. The other defendant, Andrea Thomas, also indicated through his attorney, Liral Equiano, that he will be proceeding to trial. They were remanded, right, my people? So that trial kicks off today. Yes, my people, moving over again, peeps, where a man allegedly beats friend for refusing kiss. So a 33-year-old music producer denied claims that he assaulted his childhood friend after she refused his kisses right so it was shared in the kingston and st andrew parish court yesterday that on december 19 2021 at 4 a.m kimani richards and the complainant were at a property along mannings hill road it is alleged that he kissed the complainant but she refused his romantic gesture she then called her boyfriend and informed him about richard's actions well richards reportedly got upset and began eating the complainant all over her body causing swelling and bruising so richards pleaded not guilty to assault occasion in bodily armed and monday did you kiss her senior parish judge lorian cole montique pressed your honor but that was a long time ago the accused man replied okay but she's saying that you did after that when she called her boyfriend anything like that happened you have any idea why she would make up a story like that against you cole montique asks further jesse b yes your honor her former boyfriend, me and him, don't agree well, he shared with the court. So she has a loyalty for her former boyfriend to the extent that she would tell a lie on you. The senior judge probed, but Richard remained. Mom, Jano. Troubled by the utterances and the inconsistencies with Richard's explanation, the jurist imposed a bail condition, ordering the accused to have no contact or communication with the complainant. He was also made the subject of a fingerprint order and is expected to return to court on February 21 when the matter is set for mention. Right, my people, man have some dirty intention. Should the female want to kiss him? Janu star, the man be a wagon. I move on to where DPP wants rejigging of system to fix juror crisis. Noting that the chronic issue of juror shortage is what the worst state she has seen it in years. Director of Public Prosecutions, Paula Llewellyn on Monday called for an examination of the process of selecting and serving jurors. To get more on this, you can just go over to the Jamaica Gleaner. You say because them cleaner. And we're going to just move over now to look at sports news peeps where Arnett and Mount Pleasant and beaten run with 3 to win. Arnett guards defeated Mount Pleasant 3 to win their Jamaica Premier League game yesterday evening at the Anthony Spalding Sports Complex. Fabian Reed opened the scoring in the 26th minute and Damari Deacon added another 3 minutes into first half at a time. To double their lead, Trivante Stewart reduced the deficit to 1 in the 50th minute but Ajuma Jansu restored their 2 goal advantage in the 57th minute. Right my people! So to get more on that, you can just go over to the Jamaica Gleaner because them cleaner. And you don't know my people, you know, star. I'm going to just leave you with a local entertainment video, you know. So you don't know the meds now, do no more long talking. Peace, enjoy the rest of your day till later. And we out without a doubt. The East, West, North and the South. Up top. Jamaica, the ball soon forward. You see? 
I'm soon fought. I'm going to bring my youth them to come perform live. Rasta P. Rasta P. You see me mentioning we cross at the fucking big boss. If you try me, then your life I get caught. Off the bridge, see where you live. Fire bad man, never skip me out of the Lord. And them for no side, your meds representing for Just Blex. Just Blex tell them separate your words. When the heat ends, I try for you. Was he and I are hurt? The most I alert. If I them alone, them alone. Yeah, man, Just Blex, you don't know your success getting them upset, you know what I mean?